trailer part six. Um, just had a couple of hours at it this afternoon, had a really good Sunday. You can see now where my back door's going, and it'll open towards me and be able to clip, clip on there. I have made this panel wide enough here that I can get a fly screen in between right here to slide along to cover us up okay an amazing day well yesterday afternoon I did the fillets and wow I went around a lot of them edges one side or the other or both some of them both and is it hard today I went around my line the top where the tent is going to screw to on that internal angle all the way down this one and wow man does it go hard that stuff uh, this is all with sawdust um, got home about two today so I cut the hole in the side down there which is where my big sliding drawer is going to go for my kitchen. Kitchen, battery, storage, well with the spare wheel. And all three sides are on. The main sides and the back door side now. Uh, there's the hole for the kitchen. I've just uh, filled up a few little holes here put some of that uh, white talc sort of stuff in with the filler, with the resin. Gonna give this a good sand off, maybe put an architrave around it, coloured architrave and maybe mahogany or jarra or something. And the door in between that will drop down and then pull the sliding fridge out. So I should put maybe a piano hinge along there and a lock at the top. Uh, so you'll just drop the door you have to slide the whole cooker out. The kitchen, sorry. Kitchen. Fridge will be here. I haven't welded the bars yet. I've got to get my mate to weld a couple of big bars and then I'll build a big box. I need to um, uh, cloth this first. Um, when I've clothed all this, um, then I'll weld them, get them bars welded on. And build the box and screw the fridge slide down. I bought the fridge today. I got a, an offer, a good offer. My boy rang me from, he said Amazon have got a good sale on with their big double fridge. It's a monster. It's in my villa. There it is there. Aussie Trail fridge in the, in the double fridge, fridge freezer, 80 litres. That'll go on that monster fridge slide and pull out. Control panel, everything. A couple of year warranty on it. Uh, LG compressor in it. They're pretty good these days. A lot of them, you know, that's Aussie Trail. That's their own brand, but they're made by... Uh, a lot of them are made by Evercool, people like that. Up in North Queensland. So I'm pretty happy. There's the back door. Still got to put a... Not around it yet, putting a face on that big sliding drawer under the back doors. I might have to doctor this. Um, oh, just slides by there, so that's okay. I was a bit worried about that. Put that back door up, and that's the lock that holds it in. Well, I just got that by. Shimmied that in by the skin, skin of my teeth. Oh, I will epoxy tape this. Put a line of tape along here. Or maybe you even drop it and just epoxy under here. Um, maybe even the seeker filler under the bottom. Just to protect that bottom. I want to make my door. I'm going to put corner, corner beads on. I'll, I want to make my door go right up to the corner bead. Some sort of lock. Open it out that way, back to there. 
get the fly screen that will be sitting in here and pull it across. Um, bought a couple of bits of insulation from the local hardware. This is the stuff. I'm going to slice that up in a minute. Um, high thermal performance, it says there. Low thermal conductivity. R value 0.85, whatever that means. So I'm going to cut them in. They're, they're not too bad. I'm going to cut them in and slide them all between my joists. Then I don't know. I, I like this. Uh, this side of the ply has come up awesome. That's just with one coat. I was just playing around with a roller, having some practice before I do the cloth on the outside. Just practicing messing around. Brush. The brush was hard, this this rolled well, but that deep red is fantastic the way that side of the ply has come up. In fact, I wish I'd have had the ply sheet the other way around because this might be a bit light. But we'll see how we go. First attempt. Um, then, I might, then I'm going to, after I insulate this, I'm going to maybe tongue and groove. So as I say, there'll be a, a little shelf this side. That will house a drop down table to put a laptop on and a fan on that side running off the box and the fridge of course will be out the front on the box so there'll be no noise under the we had our head down that end there'll be no noise and the, the connectors will be on here for the um, I might go a bit, bit thicker than this timber, but this is going to come down and sit on this edge. That, that'll be the roof, and then the locks will be here and there, and maybe this end as well. And then you'll just push it up um, on gas struts and see how we go. So, a little progress, you know. I'll get home three o'clock most days and an hour if I've got the energy or a couple of hours pretty happy so far but that fillet stuff I did this yesterday and it's rock hard that is unbelievable that's sawdust that I collected when I was cutting or everything I do have the uh, the masters this stuff I bought some of that stuff from my local shop I ordered um, I ordered my epoxy and all that is platinum. That all come online. I actually wish I hadn't have bothered because the shop around there, I've got a shop a kilometre away and they've got everything you can think of with fiberglass. So as I say, pretty ha happy, so amazing. It's incredible learning stuff about this this stuff. Which I'm just absolutely gobsmacked and blown away how strong that. That's shaking the actual whole trailer by doing that. The panel's not moving. The whole bloody trailer's moving. That's incredible. Amazing. Tarafanel people. <laughs>